Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to talk about the most powerful Wish Doctor build. It's also the most common one right now. I know there's a lot of people they want to see gameplay before we explain the build, but that's a problem. Um, so I brought this program to show you guys a gameplay on the upper left hand corner while we describe, while I tell you how this build is made of. First thing is you want to have zombie dogs with leeching beats. So you constantly get heal for 100% of your life whenever your dogs hit. Second, you want to have fire bats. And you want to have, well, my build is for people who does not, who does not have special gears, like who does not have full set of Zuni. Or gears that's got um like these. Locust Swarm also slows enemy by 60%. My build is not for overpower gear set, it's not based on that, it's for everyone who does not have Uber gears. So you don't have to rely on special weapon that only drops after farming for three weeks, you know? Or Zuni Masa armor that only you get full set after I don't know how many hours to play. I've been playing for three days straight and I've only gotten one piece so far. Now some other powerful people they've gotten five pieces. I'm not sure how many hours they play. And I play on the Torment 4. Adventure mode. So going back to the skill, this build is for normal people. So that's why um, since we don't have the Zuni set, I'm gonna use uh, Vampire Bat. Vampire Bat does not have any channeling cause. Now, once you have Zuni or enough mana regeneration, you want to skip to Plague Bats. This one. Okay? So for now, since it's for normal people, let's use Vampire Bat. Spirit Walk with Honor Guests. Of course, it restores your mana whenever you need it. Also, brings you out of trouble. Gargantuan. Well, this one is a standard. It's going to increase his damage by 200% since most of the time you're going to be dealing with patches. Locust Swarm. Pestilence, 100% jump chance. Now, this build is the bread and butter of this build. I would say this is a bread. Why? Because you have Creeping Death so that your Locust Swarm almost lasts forever. Now, what they mean forever is uh, it lasts 5 minutes. That pretty much means forever for a battle. Unless you're dealing with bosses that last more than forever. You know? Next thing is Piranhas. You're gonna pick Wave of Mutilation as well. What this does is increase your damage by 15% for 8 seconds. But now this 8 second again, when paired with Creeping Death, is going to last 5 minutes. Alright, so these two are the bread and butter of this build, as you can see in the gameplay. Pierce the Veil for extra damage. Fetish Army. You have a 5% chance to summon a Fetish to fight on your side for 60 seconds. I've tried to count, and I counted over 15 fetish in some of my big battles, so this is really awesome. You have to pick this. Now, you have a lot of other options, you know, but you have to pick this because this build that we're using is based on a lot of pet damage. So most of the time, you're not going to be touching your enemies. You're going to be using your pets to do all the damage most of the damage while you channel fire pads that's going to generate more and more fetish army midnight feast i use this because um so my pets you can summon one more dog hot dog and your giant gargantuan is gonna both of them are gonna do 50 percent more damage so there it is Rotation is like this. Once you can crown to your army, 
uh, you first use pestilence and then piranhas to increase the damage by 15% and then you channel fire bat. Now notice a lot of time you're gonna run out of mana because you're in normal gear so you don't have full zuni yet that's why you want to use spirit walk and then channel. What you're going to notice is once you almost reach full health, I mean full mana, your, your Piranha is going to respawn, so do again, and fire back. So, first rotation, per Pestilence, Piranhas, fire back. We need more mana, Spear Walk, Piranhas, Firebat. Hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks. Find out what's inside. I guess this. I guess this is like. Fallen star, again. I guess this would be. The main part of. Special edition. Yes, I knew Demon Hunter would be down on the first page. I mean, she's just so hot. Crusader. I like Crusader gameplay, by the way. Um, check out my videos. It's got Crusader gameplay. This is a fee she barb. Yeah. Wait, or she Crusader. Alright, let's go through all the pages. Crusader. Looks more like Optimus Prime to me. Wow, I need to get this armor. This is like in a cartoon or something. Yes, I need to get this. Oh, there's one new feature in um Reaper of Souls is called Transmort, so you can definitely do this right now. I'm gonna make a tutorial about that, so let's find out. I don't know what that is, and I'm not interested. It's more talk about Crusader and how tired they are. See? This must be one of the boss. Noob. Yes, our final boss is here. Those are nice armor. And I want I want those Sykes too. Kane's house, nothing special. Bosses. Oh, 
Um, Resident Evil mobs. Oh, this is a fat guy in Uber. Egyptian style mobs. Oh, that must be I4. I can't make it what what is what it is right here. It looks like some fire sort of eagle. Seems like another good boss with great jobs. 